We've arrived. Clear Lake, aka the Bass Factory, aka Disneyland of Bass. Man, there's fish everywhere over here. Got him. Look at that one. First fish of the day. Clear Lake, baby. A lot of fish on beds. I think it's just super neat to see how these fish behave underwater. There we go. Thank you, sir. All right, fingers crossed my camera's not dead. Oh my God, this camera took in water. Well, there goes a GoPro. Here's the key component that I was missing, this housing. It should be fully waterproof now. It's just rare you get these opportunities, get some really good underwater footage. I don't think that one's gonna go. Fingers crossed. Whew, she's good. Oh, I got it. Threw her back in there. There we go. That one was easy to catch. You know, there's just so many spawning fish over here. I bet you we could just blind cast a drop shot. All righty. Dude, you guys got to come to Clear Lake. I'm telling you what, this place is like no other. Oh, oh yeah, buddy. Look at the way he ate this. The whole deal. That was a little vicious. I'm gonna say it again. You need to come to Clear Lake. Oh man. Cheers to a solid first day at Clear Lake. Really couldn't have asked for a better day out there. And the best part is we've got another day here. I think the plan now is to make our way to the house, charge batteries, re-rig some stuff, and then we'll go get some dinner. But not a bad start at Clear Lake. <laughs> Oh yeah, this definitely beats truck camping. Give it a look, see. Okay, okay, digging it. Nice. Oh, perfect. Terrence, Mike, Dutch, I found your room. The snorer's corner, it's for you guys. I am digging this place. Backyard, right on the water. Ooh, we should get our frog rod out. Frog and punch. Okay, alrighty folks, we have made it. First and foremost, huge shout out, huge thanks to Brad who uh, owns this home and it's actually going to be an Airbnb, hopefully by the end of this month. It's still um, a work in progress, he said. Told me I could come up and stay in it, check it out, try it, and I, uh, I gotta give him a huge thanks for uh, letting me stay here the night. The cool thing about Brad is he's a fisherman, so he knows kind of the ideal housing situation, especially around Clear Lake, where there's a lot of places we've gone for Airbnbs, and the parking is always the worst part. It's pretty much hit or miss, and he's designed this place to have boats, kayaks, trailers, everything to be able to park in this property safely, tucked away. I will say one thing I really like about this spot is the neighborhood. Quiet, secluded neighborhood. For me personally, beats staying downtown Lakeport or something like that in a hotel where there's a lot of folks walking around, if you will. Um, so nice tucked away space, private. I don't think you're gonna have any trouble over here. Awesome place, pumped to stay the night here. I don't really think there's much rigging to do. Got all of our baits ready for tomorrow. I think we're gonna just launch at a different spot and kind of go towards that same general area. Probably get out there a little earlier tomorrow since we don't have to drive two and a half hours. Right now, Dutcher and the Mrs. The Mrs. Dutcher, they're heading over. We're going to go to dinner together. Yeah, guys, that's the plan. Not a bad day. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 5.44 a.m. Clear Lake, day two. Oh man, this feeling just doesn't get old. Fishing makes you feel like a kid again. 
think as I've gotten older, maybe this is for everyone, you kind of lose that uh, childish excitement about things. Understandably. Or there's fewer things that give it to you. But fishing is definitely one of the things that gives it back to you. Yeah. Yeah. First cast, first fish of the day. Clear lake, baby. It's a tough lake to try to talk to you guys because you frequently get interrupted. Interrupted in a good way, mind you. What's up, dudes? I'm missing the bait. There we go. Finally one connected. There we go. Oh. Solid one. Dude. They're hitting it kind of funny, as you can see. Both fish we've actually put in the boat hooks outside the mouth. Another solid fish, though. Sticky, sharp hooks. Oh, curse of the cat, the GoPro. Little one. We always say, if you want to get a bite, just like look at your phone or do something non-fishing related. Oh, quick release, I like it. Three for three. Watch, as soon as I stop the GoPro, I'll get bit. They're eating this topwater good. I would be curious now to see if we get any popper bites or buzz bait bites, if they're really just keyed in on this kind of bait, but if they're biting it like they are now, why change, right? Why experiment when you know what's working? That was a cool strike. That was a real cool strike. <laughs> Finally. Had a little lull there for a while. Couldn't find the fish. Feels pretty good. I think this one's net worthy. Yeah, buddy. Good fish right there, good fish. Nice one. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Nice healthy fish. All right. Gotta mark this area. Nasty. Oh. 
second chance. That's crazy. Come on. Bedfish right there. Let's gauge their mood, see what the bedfish are like today. Chunker. I don't think I had my drag set too good. I didn't get a good hook in them. Definitely another area with a bunch of fish. I mean, it's a little harder to see first thing in the morning, but there are plenty of fish around. Seeing them on beds, of course. Dude, I thought I saw a wake. I really did. I was like, wait. Something looks like it's following that. As soon as I cast it, it looked weird, like the splash, the ripples didn't like even out. And then as I was working it, I saw <laughs> this dude tracking it apparently. Ooh, this might be big fish of the trip so far. Nice one. Nice clear lake fish right there. God, so much fun. Getting trigger happy, as they say. Oh, see, I think half of them are swiping at it. I got him in the belly, I think. Oh, he came off, did he come off? It did come off, I had that one in the belly. A lot of these fish must be on the bed just kind of swiping at it, just trying to kill it or something. They're not really eating it. Some are, of course, but that one was right in the belly. crazy thing right now is I know every cast there's at least one bass that sees this bait like just in the area I'm in standing up and seeing as many fish as I have like I know that every cast a bass at least one bass sees this bait it's just whether they decide to commit or not is the question think if this rolled over a bed they would just try to crush this thing especially with all these gills around bluegill crappie so many fish around they're just not not what they're looking for right now and it's smaller profile what they'll eat Was that a smallmouth? Jeez Louise. Look at some of these fish, man. Dude, look how shallow these fish are. I just cast in my 
bait here too. That's the trippy part. None of those fish wanted it. I mean, you can see them. Like, look at those two. I mean, that's, that's a pretty big one right there. bed fish them. These are post spawners right here. I'm in an area a bunch of fish kind of cruising around. These are all post spawn fish. They look like they're on beds and maybe they still are but they're not like eating over here at least. For whatever reason this bait's still catching them. There's no greater magnetic force between a treble hook bait and your net. Oh man, that was insane. That was a cool strike. That was a cool strike. That was a fun bite right there. Man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now these fish are eating. I swear you'd think we're smallmouth fishing. Oh, drew one out. Man, this thing's just calling them up. You see bait boil right there almost. Holy smokes, did you see that fish? That fish got airborne. Oh my gosh. Oh! Oh my golly! Oh, oh, that's a big one. That's a big, big one. Oh man. Stay down. Stay down. Ah. Dude, oh man, we may have come across some something crazy. Oh man. There's a nice clear lake fish. There's a good one. There's a good kayak bass right there. Nice and long. That one I just saw right underneath my little drift walker and it just came up and popped it right next to the boat. It's not like the bait's epic in here, but you can see some of the, well, heck, I don't know. Maybe there's a ton of bait that I'm not seeing, but as far as surface activity and whatnot, you can see little ripples here and there, the, the bait balls just, there must be a ton more underneath that we're not seeing. These bass are just sitting in this grass right here. Oh, oh my god. It just scared me.
That's a mean fish right there. Scared me, dude. I mean, I'm gonna have to retire this bait after this trip and have to hang this one on the wall. Over the past couple of years too, something I've learned about Clear Lake is bait size seems to be really important here. Like you have to have the right size bait. It can make the difference between a 30, 40 fish day and a zero fish day. If it's not the right size, you just won't get bit. I can almost guarantee if this top water was any bigger, we wouldn't be getting near as many bites. It's a small bait, man. It's like, I don't know, what, four inches long? And it's skinny too. See those two fish track it? See them? They just came up to look. look I think a bear was just a little bit too close to the boat, or else they would have they would have bit. Oh god. Another one. It's like I'm throwing a glide bait and like just drawing fish in. It's trippy. Oh, I let it sit that time. I had another follower. Instead of twitching it, I just let it sit. I guess I should be doing more of that. <laughs> As I was gonna say, it's like three casts in a row that had a follower. I just kind of one come up and look at it. And that was the ticket. That's so. It's a good little spot we found right here. Thought by now we'd be doing our bed fishing program, but I much rather do this than bed fish. That looked pretty big. Alrighty guys, let's move on. Give these fish a rest. Shoot, keep throwing top water, maybe do some bed fishing. I don't know. I'm okay with either at this point. Oh god. Look how many fish were around? Stand up. Boom, boom, boom. First bedfish of the day. Maybe they're warming up to us now. There we go. The deeper fish are easier to catch. There we go. Nice fat one right there. Yeah, the deeper bedfish are definitely easier to catch than the ones that are super shallow, super visible. Just like they know they're too vulnerable. So it seems. Flatworm works. I like the flavor. Man, they're eating. 
They're eating now. It's like a light switch. Let's continue on. It's funny, it's like a little group of them right there, just super aggressive. Oh my god. Here's the aquarium from yesterday. Look how crazy that is. Bass Pro Shops tank. I'm surprised I can't catch any of these fish. I'm gonna dump you guys down there. This is worth looking at again. For sure. Just the craziness of it. Okay, folks, that is going to conclude our little mini trip to Clear Lake. Ah, oh, Clear Lake did not disappoint. A couple of great days of fishing. I've said this in the video, of course, but if you guys ever get a chance to come to Clear Lake, you have to do it. This place is phenomenal. It's just a one of a kind fishery. But let's recap the trip real quick, guys. We started out, of course, getting up here bright and early yesterday. We made the two and a half hour drive. It took us a little while to get on some stuff, but we eventually figured out that lots and lots of fish were on beds. They were spawning. There was definitely a handful of fish post spawn as well. So yesterday was pretty much bed fishing and then today this morning first thing we really threw was top water and that was kind of the uh the theme of today's day was that top water bait we were getting a lot of bites and they were fun bites just incredible to watch some absolutely phenomenal strikes and i think that's why uh we all love top water fishing so much caught some bed fish right at the end to close out our, our half day of fishing a lot of them were camera shy today it seems like when we had the camera tucked away they they really bite but that is going to do it for our trip here at Clear Lake. It was well worth it. Had an awesome time, some great fishing. Guys, as always, thanks for coming along, following the adventure up here at Clear Lake. Like I said, if you guys have a chance, come check it out. Some, some pretty special stuff up here. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.